we are all familiar with our moon, and whenever we search it up on our browsers, this is the side of the moon we see at all times. But the opposite side seems to be a bit more unfamiliar. The back side, or the the dark side of the moon, is forever facing away from the Earth. And since the past, humans had no way to know what was on the other side of the moon, and even rumors and stories told of alien civilizations on the moon preparing for an invasion out of sight. This was until 1959, when the Soviet Union's Luna 3 space probe took a photo of the dark side. Today, the moon rotates around the world like this, with a synchronized rotation with the orbit. That's how only one side of the moon will always face toward the Earth. Remember though, the moon is still rotating. One year of the moon is equivalent to the moon's one day. This state of the moon is what we call tidally locked. Back during the formation of the solar system, the moon started its orbit around the Earth as it rotated rapidly, much faster than the moon today. But since the mass and gravity of the Earth was much more powerful than the moon, the moon gets stretched into a slight ellipsoid with one of its bulges facing Earth, with the other bulge symmetrically facing away from the Earth as well. But then, the bulges quickly swing out of alignment, for its rapid initial rotation maintains the moon's rapid turning. Think of this as a giant inside the moon. The giant under the bulge wants to get closer to the Earth, so it continuously moves toward with its bulge. But by the Earth's rotation, it will constantly come back to its one place, like on a running machine. The bulge would be rotated along the moon's rotation, but then it shifts back close to the Earth when it reaches the part of the moon in which the influence of the Earth's gravity is weak. This gravitational battle between the Earth trying to pull the bulge and the moon trying to rotate together make the moon's bulge point slightly away from its alignment to the Earth. This continues for years, and the rotating moon keeps getting deformed and squished this way, slowing down its rotation speed until the giant wins the battle, reaches the closer part to the Earth, and the moon's rotation up is in sync with the Earth's rotation. Though, how long did this take to happen? Well, we don't know yet. What we do know though is that the surface of the moon facing Earth is much more smoother than the relatively rough dark side. Earth was hot and molten back in the past, and the familiar side of our moon was melted by the heat from the Earth. This tells us that tidal locking of the moon happened a long time ago, even before when the Earth cooled down. Once a moon is tidally locked, we can expect its synchronized rotation to be preserved. 